Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about how to make changes inside the filters and group by view using Odo Studio. For that, uh, this is the sale order form view. So here we have already the filters are there and group by also there. Let's see how we can make changes inside this using the Odo Studio. First of all, that I will activate the Odo Studio from here by clicking the toggle studio button. So once the studio is studio mode is get activated, I'll click on this view. Here you can see views button you click on it and i have to choose the search view so filters and group by are defined inside the search view so i'll choose the search view okay the search view is getting loaded so here i can make necessary changes in the filter section as well as in the group by section so first let's see how to add new uh, group by option so i will add just status to the group by option so i will just drag it and put it here Okay, status is done so I'll just close the uh, studio mode and see the changes so I am um, okay and uh, now you can see I will remove my quotations from here and in the group by section the status get added so if I get on the status you can see the records get be, uh, uh, group based on the status of the records so the group records are quotation sale order and quotation sense so now let's see how we can add how we can make changes inside the filter section so I will go, do the same step I will click on views button click on search view okay now let's see we have to add new filter here for that what you have to do is that you can see a filter option here just drag it to the to here okay i'll put it here now i can add a label here necessary uh, suppose i'm just for a test i have added a customer inside the database that is customer with the name albin so now let's create a filter for search getting the records of customer albin I'll, been, I'll give the label as this is a just dummy uh, label or dummy record you can do accordingly here in the matching domain I will choose the domain has to be done based on the customer name so I will choose the customer and from inside the customer I will choose its name customer name so it has to be done with customer name equal to Albin so this is how uh, you can add a new filter I just click on save you can see Albin sales get added here now I will close it and let us check whether it's working fine or not. You can see there is a customer with a name Albin is here. So I'll click on the new filter that is Albin sales. Okay, you can see it's getting filter. That is we have given the domain as customer with the name Albin. So this is how you can add new filters and group by using the Soto Studio. Now let's see how we can remove the existing. Um, uh, let's see how we can remove the added new and uh, newly added. Uh, filters so I will go to the search view itself and if I want to remove the Albin sales I will just click on it you can see remove from view option and click on it then this added filter will get removed if I want to remove this status also you can click just click on it and just click on remove from view option so this is how you can add and remove filters and group by in Odo Studio so this is all about this video if you have any queries you can comment it out we will reply you as soon as possible thank you